There's already guys in here? It says I have poor connection, I know. Hopefully it doesn't stay like that, though. Can you focus, please? Thank you. Sure is that time of week, Jonathan. Sure is, my friends. Hey, Caitlin. Hey, Dino. All right, you guys. So, apparently my connection is poor right now. But hopefully you guys can still hear me. Hopefully. That would be ideal. Uh, today, we'll be talking about vivariums and all that goes with it so uh, we'll be talking about frog care primarily we'll be doing uh, dart frog care and then we'll be talking about um, all that goes with that so I hope you guys can hear me okay I know that the connection might be a little a little rough right now it was even when I was with it so I might go and hey what's up guys I hope this is doing well. But today we're talking about dart frog care and their, I guess, culture as well. Uh, I'll be going over some general dart frog care. Hey, it's Kyle from Carolina Vivariums. What's up, man? Yeah, it says I have bad connection. Is it still okay? Can you guys hear it? Can you guys still hear me okay? I hope you can. I'm just going to attach you guys to the tank right here so I can go ahead and chat and then uh, I'll be answering questions after this part here. Alright, let's tell you guys that way. You're good? Perfect. I am good according to a few people. There's 30 of us here so that's not bad. What's up Jake? Hey Fernando. Uh, I should be live, you guys. I, I'm on a different live stream than the post, so I'll I'll actually delete that post right now before I get started here real quick. I don't want to take too much time. But the first couple minutes, we'll just be chilling and waiting. I think we should be good. We should be good. Jake, are we all good? Everything's reading out good? I hope so. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. I can see here, Lee. Perfect. Yeah, just refresh the stream if you guys aren't doing, uh, if it's not looking all that great. I know it's not really all that focused on that tank right now, but... Or it doesn't look all that focused. Maybe it is. That's the one thing YouTube needs to improve. Hey, it's Seth. What's up, dude? Seth is back in town. All right, so we're going to be talking about dart frog care. I'm going to get started. The first probably 15 minutes um, it will be more or less me just talking to you guys. I'm not going to be interacting with chat all that much. But... Um, yeah, it'll just be me talking with this one static picture. Uh, maybe I'll pick it up and I'll show you guys some of the... Oh my god, you're such a little shit. Then get lost. If you don't want to be in here. Um, yeah, as I was saying, uh, it will be me mostly talking about dart frogs. And then I'll show you the vivariums. And then I'll take questions from the chat. Is that cool with you guys? Watch your profanity. Yeah, well, you know what. All right, I'm actually going to move you guys a little bit here. I think we might be able to do something like this. Where you guys are a little bit closer to the action. That would be nice. Uh, I don't know if my tripod's going to hold. I hope it does, but I'm not too sure. There we go. I think that might be a bit better. The frogs are going all crazy, but... 
Okay. There we go. Hey, Dendrozone's in here. What's up, Rob? How's it going, man? Yeah, so we're going to be talking about dart frogs. Let's get started. I got some footnotes off to the side here so I can not screw up while I'm talking. That is ideal, is it not? And we'll just go right into it. So, generally, the first question, uh, like I said, I'm going to be mostly talking about... Uh, see, it's all, like, not focused. I don't get why. Maybe it's a little more crispy for you guys, I'm not sure. I hope it is. Uh, regardless, generally the first topic when people talk about dart frogs is how long they live. Now, that hasn't been super well established yet. Um, most of the time, you're looking at a guess of about 10 to 20 years. There are definitely some... Uh, it's crispy like tenders. Okay, good. Um, there are definitely some species that are actually still breeding at the age of 22. So, uh, that's a Dendrobates azurius, I'm pretty sure. So, there are different species. There are uh, different, I mean, lifespans per species, typically for your average um, thumbnail, it'll be probably about 9 to 10. Um, that's just kind of a guess. There wasn't too much I could find on thumbnails. But, uh, yeah, like 9 or 10 years old, I guess, for them. And, yeah, it, that's uh, that's what they're going to be looking at. Now, keep in mind, that might be exaggerated. It might even be like 10, tw like 10 years for the larger dendrobates rather than the small ones. So, don't hold that as pure fact. It's not all that well documented. Uh, for those of you saying hi and just tuning in right now, I'm going to be talking mostly right now. And then I'll be interacting with chat in a, in a little bit here. So, hold your horses. <laughs> So, I mean, the next question is, I mean, what size tank do I need? Why do I need uh, this size tank? That kind of thing. Now, the couple websites that I visited basically said that you want to keep them in a more or less like a, a sweater box, they call it. It's like a 12 by 12 by maybe 6 inches tall clear plastic box that can be sealed. And uh, that's more just for monitoring. Like most frogs, when they're sold at shows are sold as juveniles, um, maybe sub-adults if you're lucky, but most of them are juveniles. So that is a common problem because people sell them too young and they're not as stable. But uh, that's this whole setup of in the shoebox just makes them easier to monitor, easier to look at, uh, easier to feed, easier to generally take care of. So that's what you're going to be looking at. Um... That would last maybe six weeks. I wouldn't keep them in there too much more than a month just because you want to have a nice vivarium like you see in front of you for their natural habitat, I suppose. They're where they'll be in the end kind of thing. So what's the general rule for that? Uh, generally, I say I saw a few different opinions on the matter, but I say 10 gallons per frog. Um, the first two, like a pair, could be kept in a 10-gallon, but after that, I'd say another 10 gallons per frog. So if you have two frogs, keep them in a 10-gallon. And when I say frogs, I'm talking Dendrobates tinctorius azurius, Dendrobates tinctorius, leucomelos, and Dendrobates erratus. Um, all the larger Dendrobates uh, that doesn't go for like the Phylobates or for the thumbnails, those are different rules. We can talk about those later. But this is just kind of general more beginner level frogs. Oh, we have somebody crawling on top of the hut, you can see. That's one of the males. Stunning little guy. Um, yeah, so that's what I say. 10 gallons per frog, unless it's for the first pair. And then, uh, like I'd say, no less than uh, 5 gallons per frog. So, like I said, keep a pair in a 10 gallon a trio and a 20, and then it kind of goes up from there. Some frogs are easier to mix than others. I don't necessarily recommend that, but that's just kind of a general statement at the very beginning of the video here. Um, now, you might be asking, well, what do I need? Like, when I set up my first sweater box to kind of look after my uh, my new newly acquired Dendrobates, 
uh, what, what, what am I looking at here? And what you're going to want to put in your sweater box is just long fiber sphagnum, some uh, leaf litter maybe, and then, man, that guy's pretty bold. He's, he's coming out. Um, and then maybe some extremely low light plants. So that's what you're going to be looking for for a basic setup, just for maybe a month just to monitor their health and their progress. And then after that, you can go to what you see here, and this is a 12 by 12 by 18 Exoterra front opening vivarium um, that is doing very well. Um, as you can see, there's lots of plants growing in there. Uh, I'm going to lift this up and hope no frogs go rocketing out. I was really hoping there'd be some eggs in there, but I do not see any, unfortunately. Um, yeah, now this tank is not necessarily ideal for the erotus or any of the dendrobates. If you're getting any of the dendrobates, I would recommend having um, a 18 by 18 by 18 tank. That's what I recommend for a, a smaller one like that. But uh, that'd be for a pair or a trio of them. If you're just having a single frog, then this size works fine. Um... General vivarium setup, you want a drainage layer, you want uh, uh, like a barrier between the drainage, drainage layer. I saw Steven was in here, I just wanted to say hi before I had to go. <laughs> um, and then a like a ABG mix or a Lant yeah, Atlanta Botanical Gardens mix for the substrate. So I can go into that a little bit later on if you guys have questions about it, but basically... Um, that's kind of the general setup. Now, for temperatures. Now, I mean, everybody says that keeping these guys can be dangerous. And, I mean, I guess it can be in theory. But it's really not that bad. The temperatures for these guys are anywhere from 70 to 80 degrees, basically. Um, you're going to want to be looking for... I'm hanging out until I have to coach. Oh, okay, sweet. Sounds good. Um... Essentially what you're going to be looking for is temperatures during the day uh, of about 70, mid-70s, very, very low 80s. Uh, my room hits about 82 degrees in the summer, and that's hot. So uh, that runs risk of overheating frogs, so just make sure that you are careful. Uh, try and keep them cool. You shouldn't really need to add any heat during the nighttime. My nighttime temperatures drop into the like high 60s, and they're totally fine. It does kind of slow them down a little bit, but it's not overly bad for them. So, yeah, that's that's kind of the 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 temperature needs for these guys. The temperature demands. What about lighting? Um, for these guys, lighting. Because they don't really need heat, because most of us keep our houses at about 75 degrees, lighting is basically based on what plants you're going to be putting in there. So low light plants, obviously you can use things like T5s, everything like that, that's totally fine. Um, I'm talking about dendrobates, uh, basically all like the beginner dart frogs, Tinctur Tincturius, Azuria, or uh, Aratus, and... Um, Leucomelos, or the bumblebee dart frogs. Um, that's kind of the main three, honestly. Um, yeah, like I was saying, the light is more based on the plants. Uh, the frogs don't really need any extra lighting. They can do with anything from a low-level T8 plant, or like bulb, to a high T5 like you guys see here. This is a very much brighter light. On one of my other tanks, I have a little bit of a more compact, a linear compact bulb, I think it's called. I don't remember exactly what it's called, but uh, it's a lot less, or it's a lot less um, bright, I guess. <laughs> um, so diet for these guys, I don't know if you guys can see. I'll actually pick you guys up right now. Sorry, guys. If I'm making anybody sick, I'm sorry. So sorry. Okay. Ooh, super shaky. One of those DJI Osmos would be sweet right now. But you guys can see 
in their tank. It is a little wetter, more wet than I'd appreciate, but uh, you guys can see up there on that leaf there, there's actually some fruit flies. So the primary diet for these guys will be fruit flies. Now that can be the Hydei or the larger ones or the Melangaster, which is the smaller ones. And um, those are kind of the more primary ones, but uh, you can feed like Dendrozone on here. He's got some Phyllobates terribilis mints and he feeds them like quarter inch crickets. So they can eat larger, but most uh, common dart frogs, like the ones you see here, the Dendrobates genus, uh, eats fruit flies, not crickets. There's other things that they'll eat. They'll eat springtails, they'll eat uh, bean weevils, they're, they'll eat isopods. Oh, there's a couple of them out now. You can see the one back there. And then there's also one right, right there. You guys can kind of see it shining behind that plant there. You can see he, him back there. You're a medical doctor. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, and then last but not least is humidity. These guys basically require very high humidity, preferably above 80%. So 80 to 100% they do perfectly fine in. That's pretty much it. That's, uh, that's kind of dart frog care generally. I do plan on making another video with like my big camera and not on live stream. To go through much more detailed care of these guys but um, I figured that I'd just do on stream a more general talk about so now that we're kind of done with the notes and stuff I guess I can just go through and kind of give you guys updates on what's going on in the dart frog tanks because for some of you probably a lot of stuff has changed now I'm paying attention to chat so so don't worry uh, Dendro, the price... Oh, sorry guys, my hand was in the way. <laughs> hey, Fern, what's up, man? Nice to see ya. Yeah, so... In here, as you guys probably know, we have the Ufego Pumilio Elmerente. Elmerente. And you can see... He's actually back there. Lots of lag. I don't have... That might be on your... Your end... I don't have anything saying that the uh, that the internet's bad or anything. So yeah, you can see him back there. I'll try and zoom in. This is gonna be pretty bad, but pretty awful picture. But you guys can see the very very nice red frogs. Oh, he's coming out to say hi. I'm running. I hate this. I hate you. I hate everything that is this. God damn it! Please, Wayne, let me go. Ah, uh, so funny. Oh, he's a cutie. Yeah, he's pretty cool. <laughs> it's Emma from IG. Oh, Lord. Oh, boy. It's going down. I had to refresh seven times. I mean, I don't know what to tell you guys. Talk about the Sean Harrington import. Uh, I will. I will. I'm just giving some updates on the frogs first, and then I'll go into that, but... Yeah, these guys are doing really well. I don't know, is there anybody in that bromeliad? Hey, there is. Hello, little one. Got any citronella? No, I don't have any citronellas, unfortunately. You're in the hospital today, Emma? Dang, that's not good to hear. Can I get Tig out? No, this is a frog stream. Sorry, guys. For Tig, you gotta go to my, uh, to my Instagram page, and then I take her out at nighttime. But, oh, for those of you that are watching right now, if, uh, if you could find the link to, uh, or this is talking to Jake if he's still in here. If you could find the link to the whole, the whole competition that is going on right now, that would be awesome. Hey, Jeffrey's in here too. Heck yeah. Frogs, woo! Um, yeah, so I'll just go through some of the plants. We got some Magravia growing really nicely right there. Uh, the Dracula orchid is still growing, so that's good, even with the change of scenery. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, there's two different species. Whoa, can't, okay. Hello? Bruh, there we go. So there's two different species of Magravia back there as well. I don't know what's going on. I hope it's not as choppy for you guys, but, um, 
yeah, there's two different species of Magravia back there. One right there, one right there. And then the other plant is actually a um, an aquatic plant that I put in here. All right. The Dracula is pretty... Yeah, I'm pretty stoked for that, honestly. Uh, what else is growing in here? We got a lot of stuff. I did put a part of a vanilla vine in here. That didn't do very well. It died pretty quick. Uh, I mounted another bromeliad over there. Uh, yeah, we got a lot of stuff going on in here. So, a lot of nice plants. A lot of fun. Um, Alright. Sayonara. Okie dokie. What else we got going on? Is it actually like fluid for you guys or is it very choppy? I hope it's kind of fluid at least. Yeah, Rob, you should live stream after I am. But do you guys notice after after looking No, gonna chill tonight. Oh, okay. Uh yeah, so you can see the difference between how bright that is versus how bright this is. It is choppy? No. No way. I'm out, bye. Alright, see ya, heck off. Yeah, I know, you always go whenever I'm with uh, other people. Every time. Choppy, yeah, it's a bit slow. Ah, dang it. Well, maybe that's just something they gotta work on. Not choppy for me. Oh, so maybe it's just people's internet. Okay. No, I don't have any, ha any succulents. Yeah, that's true, Rob. That's true. Very true. IG live stream. Yeah, man. Instagram live. Instagram. Do you guys have any questions for me that I can answer? I don't want to... It's only a 20 minute live stream. Get calling. Can we spot the mail? Where's that mail? <sighs> this sounds so good. Hey, what's up, Yeti? Uh, 24 by 18 by 24. How many Terrilibus? I would go with like two, maybe. Oh, yeah, you guys wanted me to talk about... Well, there's one down there. You guys probably can't see him very well. Very nice call. Uh, I only have two species, actually, of dart frogs right now. I have the Ufaga pumilios, and then I have the, um, uh, the Dendrobates erratus. I will have a couple more coming, though, because I do have some Ranatomea that are about to morph out here that I'll probably have to, yeah, you guys can see them in there. Well, you can see that one perfectly. You can see they're starting to get their back legs, and their front legs are starting to bulge. That one just like zipped out of there. So, yeah, these guys should be ready to come out of water any time now. Hey, Reeb's in here. What's up, man? And tell the plants in it. Can you sell live in Canada? Yeah. You gonna get arachnids? Nope. Hey, Christian. Uh, can I have a baby red ackee? Whenever I get some and you're willing to pay for some, sure. I will be selling them. Um, do you guys have any vivarium questions, though? Thanks, Mr. Vivarium. I appreciate it. Best beginner dart frogs. So dart frogs, the best beginners, they're all pretty similar to be honest. Probably the best ones are the main three, like the big three, the bumblebee dart frog, um, the there's the Dendrobates tinctorius and the Dendrobates erratus. Those are all probably very good starters for anybody that's looking to get into dart frogs. 
Ufega Pumilio, um, the Rana Tomeo or the thumbnails are just a little more sensitive. They're a little bit less forgiving with temperatures, humidity, that kind of thing. So if you guys do a lot of research, then um, you guys can you guys can do it too. Um, doo -doo -doo. Do I ship, Mike? Uh, yeah, I might be able to ship depending on where you are. Hey, Mike, I'm holding your fear of my amends. Oh, thanks, Maximum Monitors. Yay, yes, I do. What temp do you keep them at? Mackenzie, I already went over all this at the beginning. It's just basically room temperature. A uh, botanist or plant scientist is a scientist who... I don't, I'm not sure who answered that or who asked that, but yes, I know. Man, they're going ham. Dang. Uh, best material for the wall on top of the foam. What? On top of the foam? Just silicone. Just silicone, my dude. Uh, what do you guys want to see? What should I... What should I show y'all while I talk? I kind of want to show you frogs, because that's what we're here for, right? It's just so hard to keep this steady. Okay. Well, I'll just put you in here, and you can watch that one over there. Chat or zip around. Open vivarium is nice view. Okay, well, there you go. 12, what? My dude is the word, my dude. Gotta go, my boy. <laughs> Alright, Mackenzie, have a good one. Thanks for tuning in. Did I use excavator clay? No. No, I didn't use excavator clay. What is my dream dart frog? Probably the... Um, that guy's really looking to go up. Probably uh, the, the Excitobates Mysteriosus is really, really nice. And uh, the peacock um, uh, dart frog is really cool. Those are probably my two favorite. Careful there, dude. Getting awfully close. There's one that always hangs out in the front here. And he always jumps at the glass. Do I ever go field herping for frogs? No, we don't have really all that much over here. Just like three different species of toad. That's pretty much it. What happened with the mutant fruit flies that could fly? I threw those away. <laughs> I use, uh, for cleaning supplies, Jake, I use a razor, vinegar, and, a, like, paper towels. Uh, there's different ways to tell, Daryl. It's really not easy. If they're not fully mature, you really won't know. Oh, hey, there's two here. I didn't even notice that until just now. And uh, in, in a lot of them, you can't tell at all. You just have to watch for basically... Um, yeah, you just have to watch for who's, who's laying eggs, essentially. It's really awful in some of them. Do I ship to Arizona? No, I can't ship to, the, to Phoenix. Uh, where did I get my Ufagas from? I got them from my buddy here in Calgary. All right, thanks for tuning in, Maximum Monitors. Have a good one. They're like, yo, why are you invading our space? Uh, dart frog be costing from 40 to 90. Ooh, my mister is empty. That's not good. Hopefully we can get nice and close to this guy. Hello there, little guy. Are vivariums difficult to set up to maintain? I know... I know much about them. They look kind of complex. I wouldn't know where to start. Well, that's why I have builds on my on my channel on how to build them. Is Rob still in here? Rob, are you still here? Hey, Arizona Vivariums. What up, dude? My graphics card can't handle it. Wait, can't handle what? JK, I'm back. Okay. <laughs> Uh, how susceptible to pH fluctuations? Uh, not that susceptible. 
Is that Cork Park? Yep, this is Cork Park that you guys are looking at. It's just covered in lichen. A lot of lichen. A whole lot. Yep, Rob's still here. Good, good. Oh, for honor. Okay. How long do you keep the fruit fly culture before you toss it and make a new one? Until it's done. Until there's no more fruit flies in there. Even if they're smaller, I'll use them for some of the smaller frogs. Or babies if I have any. Are you going to breed your Rhacodactylus Lucianus? Uh, maybe. Maybe. I have beardy. Nope. What day do you... What day do you stream? I have to go. I stream every Friday, man. <laughs> it's been like that for like a month and a half now. I'm hoping people are starting to catch on a little bit. Nope. Uh, this is... I bought the cork bark like this. It had a lot of lichen on it when I bought it, so... That's one of the main reasons why I did buy it. Uh, I don't want anybody jumping out, though. That's the problem. Because I'm looking at chat. I'm not really focusing on on the Viv, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, I'll just put my arm down here and hold you guys to the glass. Where did you get my... Where did I get my Arata Panam my Aratus Panama come from? Uh, they came from my buddy out in Ontario. They're originally from uh, Understory Enterprises, though. That's where they came from. Do I ever think about naming frogs? No, they're too hard to tell apart, honestly. Unless you're like, uh, unless you're like Rob and your females the size of a goddamn mouse, then you can take them. Then you can tell them apart. TJMR, thanks, buddy. That's where I live. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, he sold them to me. There's not really any, any more, or there's not many out there. Hey, Carolina Vivarium's made his own. Is that Hydrolon working at all? Uh, which Hydrolon? I don't have any hy Hydrolon on here. He might. Can you show this guy? Sell to me. Well, when I want, when I have babies, I'll sell them to you. Sayonara. Ciao. Like the baby tears on the water feature was my personal channel. Wait, what? Yeah, it was on my personal channel. Oh, okay, right on. Um, it's... <laughs> Jesus, Lord Murphy. Um, it it's okay. It's not... Jake, I don't know where the fuck you are right now, but... Whew, we're missing you, bro. Um... I might do another one tonight, Emma. I'm not sure. Uh, the Hydrolon is, is... It's doing okay. I don't really have any moss. That's my problem. I need to order some moss, or, like, at least some spores. And then let them grow up it. Um... Hey, Matt. What's up, dude? What is crack lacking, my homie? Um, I still have this tank up and running, but there's no frogs in it. I actually sold all the frogs. Emma, what? Emma, be a wench for you. Oh, dang, frog chat is getting raw. Yeah, I don't know what the hell's going on with this. They don't sell, don't they sell moss of Pisces? Yeah, they sell some Java moss, but. I'd rather just get actual, like, moss spores from out east and then grow them here. Yeah, it seems to work pretty well. I just don't have any vining plants that are growing on them quite yet. The leg is so bad. It's a 12 cube, right? Yeah, this one's a 12 by 12 by 12 that I'm showing you guys right now. You can see I got some oak leaf. I got some red nerve plant. Uh, Biopod, he wants me to... He wants me to talk about the biopod. Yeah, the biopod is coming hopefully soon. I elected to get mine early, so hopefully I'll have it in the next probably month. Um, me and my buddy both did, and we're getting two different sizes, so expect a lot of biopod content when it gets here. A lot of stuff. Understory sells moss? Yeah, I know. I didn't buy any, though. 
sucks. I wish I would have, honestly. I really wish I would have. Do they sell just spores or actual moss? Hey, Colin. Did you guys see something something jump down there? Oh no, I think that was just my phone. Actually, that was probably Sheldon running around in the reflection. What's a biopod? Uh, it's basically a let us know how the biopod works because I'm thinking about getting one. Yeah, they're really cool. From what I saw, they will be so freaking nice. Um, kind of expensive, but... Hey, what's up? Luke's in here. How many frogs are in here? In this tank that you're looking at now, none. I think it's... Uh, I'm not sure if they sell sports. Yeah, I didn't. I don't think they do. I need like one of the hobbyists. I know one of the guys out east sells spores, or like a roasting my decisions. Well, I mean, Emma, you come. Sometimes you lose. Hi, hey, Kaylee. Uh, Mike, stay tuned. My IG. I should be finishing an enclosure for a zoo, and I would love for your input on it when it's done. Always looking for feedback. Yeah, man, I would love to. That sounds really cool. I'm actually, so for those of you guys that weren't on my live stream last night, because not many people were, um, I finally figured out my plans for the budget vivarium build. I will also have this one up and running pretty soon here. So I'm very excited for that. Hold on here. Let me just... Okay, sorry I muted myself, lol. Um, but this tank is going to be sweet. I'm actually getting glass cut for this tank. I'm getting glass cut for this tank. And I'm getting four 12 by 12 glass cuts. So, I'm not sure. But yeah, the budget build, basically what the whole plan is going to be. Is it's going to be, yeah I know. I got toilet paper here. Come at me. Dude, that'll be sweet, Carolina. How did you get that gig? I want to do that. Uh, this one's glass, Arib. Uh, when you get the chance on a snake, what species will you get? Probably a green tree python or something like, something like that. More display animal. Yeah, I said hi. Thumbnail in the eight by eight by twelve. No, that's too small. Minimum for even one thumbnail, I do is twelve by twelve by eighteen. Chick-fil-A. You're the worst. The worst. Graham's in here. What's up? I thought it was a 100 push-up that he does on Dendro stream. On Rob's stream. I said hi, Kaylee. They don't need to be starter, st starter, um, starter snakes. Boris, because I'm, I actually have a lot more experience with snakes than a lot of you guys know. <laughs> I've worked in pet stores that sell mostly snakes for years, so I, I do know. Hmm. I'll have to see if you'll be able to ship them. Are they just spores, Luke? Or are they actual moss? Because he probably can't ship it over the border. Uh, Mike, are you going to make a video... I mean, I think you can probably answer that question yourself. Of course I'm going to make a video on it. It's going to be so lit. Uh, Matt, I already talked about Biopod. I guess 100 it is. Got one. That grand boy, is that you for getting late? Uh, it's an internship there for school. And they stayed on as a volunteer and found out I made by Varen. That's awesome, dude. Once I get my bachelor's, I want to work in a zoo. Heck yeah. Missed it, sorry. Would I ever get a mantis? Um, probably not. Most of them are illegal where I live, so. Colin asked what my favorite reptile is. I don't really have one. It's too hard to, to make up my mind. Have I ever messed around with mossy frogs? No, I've kept them, like, we have them at work, but I've never had any, no. I don't want really, I mean, besides maybe like a milks or a waxy monkey tree frog, I really don't want any nocturnal frogs. I'd much rather have dart frogs. Um, what's better to build or buy tanks? Probably buy. 
Where's my fave girl Tig? She's hiding right now. You only get to see her on my Instagram streams, really. But... Yeah, so I guess I'll talk about the budget build a little bit more. Um, the budget build is basically going to be $250 for everything except <coughs> except maybe the light. Sorry, guys. Hey, would you guys shut up? Excuse me. I'm actually trying to talk right now. I know it's kind of embarrassing, but please. Thank you. Um... Yeah, so basically, it'll be, um, it'll be $250, I actually already have bought the tank, actually no, I'm supposed to get back to her today, like right away, right after this, I'll email her, and I'll probably be going to pick up the tank, it will be an 18 by 18 by 18 Exoterra, that's gonna cost me 70 bucks, um, and I'm doing it in USD, so I'm gonna be spending more than $250, but I'm gonna convert it in the video to be in US dollars, and that'll have the light, the tank, and everything you need for it, so, yeah, I think, I think Graham's some kind of god, if he just did 100 push-ups, I mean, there's no way, there's not a goddamn chance. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Um, shut up, please. Hey, Aronia. Jake, did you? Yeah, I don't think Jake's here anymore. I think he fell asleep. Mike, where's your dude that monitors chat? Yeah, I know. I'm trying, you guys. What camera do I use? Uh, right now, it's just my iPhone. For my videos, I use the Olympus OMD uh, M10 Mark II. Uh, yeah, so I'll, I need to finish my thought on this stuff here. I got um, I got this. Um, this tank here will be done on a video. Don't worry. It won't be a budget build, though. I want to spend some good cash on it, make it look really nice. Um, the budget build, like I said, will be an 18 by 18 by 18 Exoterra. It will cost me uh, $70 Canadian for the for the tank, so it'll be like 50 some dollars American. Uh, the light will cost me probably $80 to $100 uh, American, I'm pretty sure, for that one. So that'll be most of my budget gone there, but that still leaves me with about $100 to uh, mess around with the insides, the driftwood, and that kind of stuff. So, I am, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited, honestly. I'm pretty excited. I think it'll be really cool. I actually have to, I'll probably have to go pick up the tank tonight. So, I'll have that set up, and then, yeah, it'll be pretty sweet. Um... Wait, what did you say, TJMR? Have I ever vaped before? No, I haven't. Currently eating buffalo chicken salad. Dang, I'm jelly. Um, I guess we'll go back to this vibrium here. I actually don't mind this one. This one needs to be drained. I really need to drain the drain the drainage layer, if you know what I'm saying. You need eco earth. You need that paper. <laughs> Dubious, yeah, dubious are illegal here. Are you still thinking of doing a stream? Uh, it won't be tonight. It definitely won't be tonight. But I, I, th I thought of it. I honestly thought of tonight maybe doing it from the, uh, from the garden center. I need to go there and make sure their Wi-Fi is okay, though. Oh, bad connection. Uh-oh. Can you guys still hear me? I hope it's still okay. Okay, I'll move back more to the center. Um, you know what? Why don't we just set you guys up somewhere, and you guys can just just check it out, you know? Holy smoke of dokes. Yes, it's been cutting out. Chop, 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 buffering. Oh, uh, come on, connection. Don't rip on me now. Here, we'll stand over by Shellman. 
and you guys can just watch him until connection is restored. Lagging. Yeah, sorry guys. My brother's on the internet right now. That was kind of nice about doing it on Thursday because he's at school. So I don't have to worry about him. Um, yeah, honestly, Arib, I will probably put a vanilla cutting in the big, uh, in the big tank here. Alright, no longer any bad stoof. Tell us about that chameleon. Cool guy, get a crested gecko. Got a piece of, alright, TJMR, have a good one, man. Yep, I should be getting day geckos as well. Get a toke. Nah, I won't get a toke. Hell no. I've had striker for like 11 years. Ooh, the feral wife. Hello. What time are you going to do the darting center? I'm not sure. It, 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 like, it won't be today. It definitely won't. <sighs> that was stupid. Bad choice. Poor choice. Real poor choice. You're all dirty, though. You're so dusty. I need to find some less dusty substrate. Jesus, I've already used 50% battery in the 50 minutes that I've been live. That's crazy. Um, uh, the, the cultures are doing really, really good. I actually did lose airplane mode, Mike. Yeah, that might, that might not be a bad idea, honestly. But I need to do it before this because it shuts off Wi-Fi at the same time if I turn it on now. Booty dance. Uh, okay. I might end up cutting this one short. I'm not avoiding you, bro. It's just a silly question. That's why I'm not answering it. Um, yeah, would you guys like a stream from the live stream, or from the garden center? It wouldn't be a very long one. It would probably be on my Facebook page or, um, Instagram, though. Maybe my Facebook page, because then I could post it up here after. Because Instagram is just, nobody knows what happens on the Instagram streams, right? Right, for those of you... Mr. Vivarium is occasionally there. Jonathan, I think, has made it to a couple. Um, I know Rob has made it to a few. But what stays on Instagram, or what happens on Instagram, stays on Instagram. My Facebook page is Alpha Reptile. Just, just search. Uh, yeah, that's true, actually. Good call. Let's do that. It's so much harder to read chat, though. What lights do I recommend? I really like the uh, Phoenix LEDs. They're growing stuff really, really well for me. They bring out the reds. Oh, look at that sexy little bastard. Look at you, love. Aye. Yeah, Reeb, you've already been there. I know you have, but a lot of people haven't. And I think it would be kind of fun to hang out at a, at a garden center. It would be cool. Uh, we gotta, wait, what? We gotta do what we gotta do. Yeah, that's true. What's your oldest vivarium? Uh, I don't have any of my really old ones right now. I think, I'm pretty sure that one right there is my oldest at this moment in time. It's not my oldest ever, but it's the oldest that I currently have right now. Algae wall. Yeah, I know, it's covered in algae. My Leo's good, man. Oh, that was good. So do you guys want to see a stream from... It would probably be, be on my Facebook page. Like, just because of how choppy this is, I wouldn't want to do it on, on YouTube. But I'd do it on my Facebook page and then upload it here. I've been keeping dark frogs for like th two years or three years. Not long, honestly. Garden Center would be cool. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Striker's hiding right now. I don't want to bug him. Oh, I don't want to bug them. Uh, do a live feeding. I did that yesterday, dude. Yeah, stream that bitch. <laughs> okay, I will. I'll do it at some point. It won't be probably really soon, but 
Hopefully soon up, soon ish. What's my favorite plant, Mike? That I own? Um. Ooh, in the dart frog tanks, my favorite plant is probably uh, either what you see right there, the the Dracula orchid, the one sitting on that wood there, or the one directly behind it, which is a uh, burgundy and red magravia. That shit is expensive. For that little tiny cutting, it was like 50 bucks. So. Yeah, very expensive nonetheless. Cacti or orchid? Definitely orchid. Definitely orchid. Um, as for my favorite plant in here, it's probably the vanilla. The vanilla or I really like this orchid just because it's blooming so crazily. These blooms are just going absolutely insane. So I'm really stoked with that. And I don't know how many of you guys saw on Instagram, but I posted, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it or not. Hello, can you please zoom in? There we go. Whoa. You can see there coming out of that orchid, there's actually a flower spike. So, oh my drizzle. Okay. Yeah, YouTube still definitely needs to work out some of the kinks in this. <laughs> Definitely. How's the bright orchid? What's the most expensive what that I have? Plant or a reptile? Uh, they're Dendrobates, Erratus, Panama. Frogs, for sure, over toads. Uh, how long does it take you to grow your plants? Depends what plant you're talking about, man. It really depends. I'll bring you over to the shellman for a little bit. Right, the shell? Like, okay. Nice, that's awesome, Marie. I hope to see some pictures when it finally blooms. Yes, don't get at me that his, uh, his water bowl's empty. He fills it up every day. Uh, I've just elected to start putting water in that bowl over there. So, How do I keep mites out of a darfrog tank? You don't really need to keep mites out of a darfrog tank. They'll eat them or, or take care of them themselves. TBH. What's your most expensive reptile? Uh, yeah, it'd be the Yaki. One of the Yakis. Um, I probably won't breed Kaino. Mike, are you going to get day geckos? Yep. I hope so. You're going to sell your wife to get more dart frogs? Sounds like a reasonable deal to me. The gecko lepis megalepis? What? No. No, I did not. Wait, so... What other frogs were you telling me about at work? Huh? Do you clean a viv? No, that's why you make it bioactive. That's why you add springtails and isopods to it, so that it makes it bioactive. That's why you got these dudes right here. Sorry about that, guys. All these little dudes. So crazy. But that means I got a... No, there's fruit flies in here. God dang it. Ugh. Not that they're really going to do much, but want to get electro blue day geckos. Yeah, they're so rare now, though. And in Canada, they are for sure. In the States, they're a little bit more readily available, but in Canada, they are, they are stupid to find at this point. Uh, no, bioactive vivariums don't really work for big snakes and stuff. Unless you have a huge vivarium. Um... Hunter, if you say hi one more time, you're being blocked. You're being put on a timeout. All right, there you go. Jake, why? Why are you not here? Um, what's my favorite animal to take care of at work? Probably the monitors that we have. They're so cool. They are so cool. Hey, Max. What's up, man? 
You're from Brazil? Dang. Dang. Yeah, I mean, bioactive vivariums work for, like, green tree pythons and stuff, but not for any, like, corn snakes or anything like that. Not for any of those things. Hey there, laddie. You guys want to see Bane? It's kind of dark, I know, but... No, probably not for a Tegu either. But... Uh, do you ever frustrate... Oh, yeah, I frustrate her all the fucking time. All the time. Whenever I don't tell her I'm buying something and I just show ho show it home. Even though she really doesn't have any say of what I buy, but... Uh, like, in theory, she shouldn't. She kind of does, but... Yeah. Uh, I know when I come over here, sometimes the internet eats a dick, so... Maybe I won't do that. <clears throat> uh, or a peach don't monitor. Eh. Yeah, it's a Hermit's Tortoise cool guy. It sure is. I really want to get a Hermit's Tortoise. It's only a year old. I was wondering if... Oh, 10% battery, guys. I'm going to have to go right away. Honestly. Christ, what the hell is happening? Yeah, I know. It's kind of laggy. I'm sorry. I will probably be going back to my... Uh, Back to my normal antics of having, um, on my computer. Just because it's easier, honestly. Yeah, I, I'm gonna sign out though, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, it is about an hour long. I know, I wanna make it longer, but I started this, this live stream with, uh, like 80% battery. And I'm already down to 10%, so I'm gonna have to shut it down. I really appreciate you guys watching. Please, for those of you that are still here, the 50 of you that are still here, please go to the um, the Reptile Reports website and vote for me on uh, the Best of Awards. I'm voted for the Lizard Personality of the Year and also the, um, the Video Show of the Year. So if you guys can do... Voting is every day. You can go and vote once a day. So please, please go do that. I would really, really appreciate it. And uh, I hope... I, I might be on Instagram later tonight. Maybe. Uh, it's hard to say. I had a lot of fun with that music stream. But I also kind of want to game with my friends. So we'll see what happens. But um, I'm back to a bad connection. So with that...